Our next guest is a comedian and actor who is Emmy nominated for her work in the critically acclaimed series Hacks, which is streaming on HBO Max. Let's take a look. Sell it to me. But are you out of your mind? It's one of a kind. Sell me it. I have nothing left to lose. Stop. I'll do it. Put it down. Sell me it. You think you have nothing in common with Deborah Vance? I know you're the same. You're both psychotic bitches. You have three seconds to take the money or I'm gonna do Please, it. Please, think of the Orban Shin McMillan well, family. I don't give a about the Orban Shin McMillan. They probably own plane. Please welcome to the show, Hannah Einbinder. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having welcome. me. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm so happy you're here. Oh my God. Congratulations likewise. on your wonderful show. And I feel a little bad because the show is, you know, it's about stand up comedy, uh -huh. it's about how exciting it is to be in front of an audience, and I do wish you could have been here on a night where we had more people. Oh no, I, 10, 10 guys in the dark is home for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> target demo. This is your, because now you, because you've been a stand-up for a very long time. Yes. Um, this is a wonderful show about stand-up, about what it means to be a stand-up, but as a, someone who's been a stand-up for a very long time, you have played in rooms where there weren't a lot of people. Yes, yes, um, I, I actually have, played for, if you can believe it, negative amounts of people. <laughs> no, what is negative have, amounts? Well, like in a building like this, like this is, is 30 Rock, so like I have done shows that maybe like on nights where the only people in the audience would be like ghosts with wacky wigs. <laughs> right, sure, the ghost audience. Yeah, <laughs> just when no one shows up and you kind of just barrel through right down. So you obviously being critically acclaimed uh, for this role, Emmy nominated, has that uh, shown up yet insofar as more people coming to see you? when? you're doing sets because you're still doing stand-up. Yeah, I mean, yes and no. Like, uh, if, you know, I, I do like alt shows in LA sometimes, so like, I mean like, you know, when when we got the news that we were uh, nominated in this lovely way, that was at um, 8 a.m. And then at 8 p.m., I, you know, bombed for seven people uh, <laughs> several feet away from a dumpster, so. <laughs> Keeps you humble. City of stars, yeah. <laughs> It really, it really, so it keeps you, it keeps you, because stand-up doesn't really, I, I feel like it's so honest, it doesn't care right. who you are. Um, and doing it in LA, you know, uh, their <laughs> audiences are, are kind of just like, uh, oh, you're, you're an actor? So are all of us. <laughs> oh, you got an Emmy nom? Yeah, Chelsea Peretti was here last week, she <laughs> killed, so good luck. <laughs> well, I guess that is the, uh... Uh, sort of a trial by fire like that is probably very helpful. And you end up getting to work with Gene Smart. Gene was here uh, singing your praises, but also strikes me as like, in a way that I think anybody who would work with her would want her to be. She also seems to like bust chops a fair amount. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I invited her to one of my <laughs> one of my shows in LA and I was telling her about the show and I was saying, you know, um, Natalie Palamides and Courtney Peruso, who are clowns, <laughs> Um, which, for those who don't know, clowning is a form of performance art. It's a comedic uh, uh, performance um, art. Uh, good, we got it all. <laughs> Just want to get it out. Gonna, you're not going to get heat from the clown community. I think you laid it out <laughs> uh, with a lot of integrity. Sorry, yeah. they're very nice. Um, but they, I said, you know, they're they're opening for me uh, tonight. We, I have two clowns opening for me, and she said, "Oh, great! So three on the bill." <laughs> Gene and I have this awesome little joke where she's mean to me and I'm in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, I mean, has it been since you met all these people and you're so close to these people now, have, it, have they, I mean, did she actually come when you told her clowns were opening for you or did she? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. she, she keeps, keeps a low profile in the back, um, but she's, she's so supportive and, and all the cast really, like we all talk all the time and we have a little group chat That's great. and we're checking in, it's really lovely. Has anything, uh, this was also, it should be noted, which is um, you know, hard to believe because you're so good and so natural in this, but this is kind of your first acting job. And do you, I mean, has it changed a lot of stuff other than the fact that you have your Emmy nomination? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I found like this really beautiful community um, online, which has been really lovely because like I have pretty low um, self-esteem and I can be pretty critical of myself. So when people online are like, I hate Hannah, I'm like, okay, I feel that. <laughs> That's yes, my community, <laughs> my people. That's so nice. It's awesome. Did you be. did you pull from people you met? Because again, you mentioned you're in LA, so you know a lot of comedy 
uh, writers, a lot of comedians. When you were putting the character together, were you pulling from yourself or, or others as well? I gotta say, you know, the writers did such a beautiful job. She was so vivid. She was really all there when I first encountered her. But um, I think what I uniquely bring to Ava is probably uh, cystic acne, red hair, and no upper body strength. Oh, that's great. <laughs> That so was you important. Ticked, you ticked all the boxes yeah. they were looking for there. And then they're going, oh, wow, I didn't really see this at first, and now it couldn't be any other way. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you've been a fan of award shows your whole life. You've had some thematic award-based parties. I have. Um, God, no other way to say this than just directly, but my bat mitzvah theme was uh, Hannah Einbinder's first annual Friendship Awards. <laughs> <laughs> and I... <laughs> I did, I did, I did give out awards to my friends. Gotcha. And... Were they, did, were they uniquely, were they uniquely tailored to each friend? What kind of friendship award they got? Yes. Um, yeah. It was, I, because I'm from LA, it was like, everybody's gotta feel like special. It can't <laughs> be, uh, you know. Right. Uh, no one can feel like they were snubbed. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you have uh, any other, before you got a job uh, as an actor? Uh, I'm assuming you had other lesser jobs getting through your early stand-up years. Yeah, I um, I was a barista okay. in the um, epicenter of douchebaggery okay. in Los Angeles, and um, I I had lovely coworkers who are still my my best friends to this day. But you know, you, you it, it was a job that worked for me at the time. I was able to you know get absolutely ripped off caffeine during the day, mm -hmm. and then, you know, perform at open mics in an almond milk soaked flannel by night. <laughs> and so that worked with my schedule. But uh, yeah, we, it's, look, when you are in this body and working in the service industry, um, you encounter men who kind of take advantage of the power structure. Sure. Um, I had this one customer who, uh, he came in once and, you know, he ordered a tea and I said, do you, you know, would you like it sweetened? And he said, oh yeah, I'd love it sweetened. Just stick your pinky in it. <laughs> yeah, so I, I brewed his tea and, um, and then I just, uh, I looked right at him and I just sort of fisted his Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right, I think that's very, very appropriate. <laughs> hey, congratulations on the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to meet you. Oh my God, likewise. Hacks is streaming on HBO Max.